All right. Where do I start? What exactly are we starting? Are you planning on becoming some sort of errand person? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure you have some suitably grandiose term for it. Break warden. Just to be clear, we aren't starting anything. I'm going to use you to clean up the mess you made. <laughs> you know this is just the beginning. You can't keep me like this forever. I'll drive you out of your mind soon enough. Yeah, good luck with that. Break warden, though. I kind of like it. You always did love my ideas. Oh, shut it. Let's do this. You can call me Super Frey. Oh, hi, Frey. Are you off somewhere? Not that I'm worried, of course. You always make it home safe. Have a nice trip. Hello there. Can I get you something? Good to see things are the same as always around here. Yep. No news is good news. Had any more thoughts on how you like the city, by the way? We were talking about that? I think so, but I could be wrong. Anyway, how have you been finding it? Well, not exactly conclusive, but it'll have to do. Anyway, here, little something for the savior of the city. this a few spices grown right here in Sepul and a dash of inspiration all right it's good you like it didn't want it to be too sweet you know wanted it to have a little bite what do you think a new drink for a new Sepul hell yeah keep them coming guess what I've called it the fray you're serious Oh, come on. You knew I'd hate that. The fray. Now that is priceless. Yeah, very funny. No, imagine toiling away all day, desperate to quench your thirst with a delicious glass of New York Street Criminal. If you don't get over this, and fast, we're gonna have a problem. Come again, hey? Eh? Greetings, fair hero. Some. Milia is more dedicated to her work than ever of late. So. Did you guys, or did it all go 
you know. Why ask a question like that? What if she broke the poor fool's heart? It is hard indeed to say for certain. Hard to discern much at all in the face of such dazzling wonderment. Uh... But wait, you must hear my latest. It is a triumph. You will do me the honor, of course. Then, if it please you, I present a shiny, shiny, bright and new Sipal. Still no progress on those naming skills, I see. This latest was inspired by your brave deeds and by our fair city and above all, by a certain special someone. I owe you more than words can say. Perhaps this will go some way, at least, to repaying my debt. Should ever the urge to hear a song come upon you, you need only say the word. lots of pictures sure did here you go oh that's amazing is that really what it looks like out there i want to see more please <laughs> please okay okay i gotcha i'll be back with more pictures later Time to steal. Nice. I was just thinking I needed a snack. An apple a day keeps Frey's hunger at bay. Yeah, it wasn't funny the first time. The whole city busies itself with rebuilding. And yet here you are, footloose and fancy free. Wonderful. Caught red-handed by the teacher. I have been meaning to talk to you. Come and see me at the council chambers. And put that apple back before you do. Oh, uh, sure. You still do not understand the value of a simple apple, do you? Well... And so, you see, even a single piece of fruit is as vital to Arthur's future as... Okay, yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Lecture received, loud and clear. Good. Now, to the real reason I summoned you here. Oh, you mean there's more? Hasn't she tortured us enough? For you. Thus, their names herein recorded. The lost are their due worth afforded. This, among other things, was entrusted to me by Tante Prav. It brings with it a grave lesson. That to promise to bring peace and to do so are two very different things. I pray that we need never again speak of sacrifice. My words on this matter were of little use, I suspect. Nah, I'm glad you were honest with me. 
Anyway, there won't be any more sacrificing happening anytime soon. The people of Sepol will not soon forget the promise we made you, Tanta Frey. Is it really practical to be carrying such a doorstop of a book around with you? Not really, no. But it means a hell of a lot more than a pocket full of apples. Exactly peaceful here, is it? I'm used to it. Ah, yes, you're from a filthy, noisy, awful place, too. Pray! Whoa, what's the matter, Joe? Can't remember the last time I saw you outside the archives. I've been looking for you. Uh huh, so something wrong? I've been reading up on Tanta Sinto. Thought there might be something in the archives that could be of use to you. Oh, uh, that's... weirdly helpful of you. I'll tell you more at the archives. Come by when you have a moment. I wonder what Joe wants to talk to me about. Indeed. In the mood for something in particular? Interesting choice of task. There you are. So? You had something to tell me about my mother? I was... doing some reading about her. And I found this book. And? Looks like all the others to me. It's about the fall of Janun. The writer mentions Tanta Sinta being pregnant. Okay. If you go and speak to them, you might be able to learn more about your past. Wait, who wrote it? Janesh. Please tell me you're kidding. I wish I was. You can take it with you. Well, this is a turn up for the books. Literally. Why, Janesh, of all people, this is literally the last thing I want to do. But I can't not go and ask him now. You. And how does it feel to be Sir Paul's exalted savior? People seem very pleased with you indeed. How nice of them to forget that they once doubted you, feared you, cursed your very name. I need to ask you something. You knew Sinta had a child. Did you know it was me? <laughs> so that's what this is about. Very well. Ask what you must. How did they not see it? I knew those eyes before you were even born. They're the same as your mother's, and I despise them every bit as much. 
But how come you knew and nobody else did? As far as we were aware, no Tanta had ever been with Child before. So we kept it to ourselves. Me, Robian, and a smaller number of her retinue as was possible. Though I wish now that we had not. There was a time when Sinta's love for Athia and its people was endless. Boundless. And then you began to grow inside her. Her love was compromised. And we were forsaken. No longer were her affection and dedication the sole province of her people. No. We were forced to share them with you. That's not true. I saw her evacuating the... Where was she when the worst of the corruption came? When terror tore through the populace like a plague? For years, it tormented me. Why did she abandon us? But when I realized who you were... I knew. She left us to die so that she could save you. That's... I do not expect you of all people to understand. Janoon, once a realm of boundless wonder, of love, was abandoned by its Tanta long before she lost her mind. I know nothing of such things. That old fool, Robian, might have done, I suppose. So Sinta didn't tell you about him? That he was from another world? As I said, I know nothing of the sort. But he must have made an impression on your mother. One significant enough to cause her to lose sight of her obligations. Are you quite done? Not quite. Why are you telling me all of this? Because I have no desire to owe you anything. You saved the city, and now I have given you something in return. And I will give you one last thing. Huh? We may not meet again. Consider this my parting gift. What do you think this key opens? If not something here in the city, then something back in Janoon, perhaps. Let's go check it out. Sila, Prav, Olas, Mom. I'll save Athia, I swear. Just please, show me how. Okay, I need to eat. Like, now. Good luck finding a square meal in this town. Yeah, slim pickings. <clears throat> mm. 
All right, let's hit the road. Looks like this one hasn't completely collapsed. Better check it out quick then. Something's there. What should we do? Pretend we didn't notice. That's them dealt with. Let's take a look inside the castle. What the f... Mom? going I'd say she wants you to follow her What's this box? Oh, there's a keyhole here. I suppose this must be what that key was for. Hey, is this... She's gone. box 
This song sent his lullaby. What's this? All these years, I never knew. Why are you crying, Alfred? <laughs> but I expect you've done a lot of crying, haven't you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've wanted to do this for so long. I love you. I love you so much. I'll keep Athia safe, Mom. I promise. There's a couple of places I want to go check out. Are there now? Why, if you don't mind me asking? I was thinking I might learn something if I put my skills to the test. We're here! That really was miraculously fast. Oh. <clears throat> and here we are again. Doesn't look like much has changed. You never know. Quick look round, perhaps?
Ever get the Lady feeling Frey. you're forgetting something? What? You may rest easy at last. The boy has laid down his knife and shall not pick it up again. Even he now sees that to take up arms against the savior of the city would be ill-advised indeed. And in time, I'm sure he will come to learn that to hate a hero such as yourself is pure foolishness. Give me the knife. I... Uh, sorry? The boy's knife. Hand it over. But I cannot. I threw it away. Whatever can the matter be? Ugh. Sycophantic drivel. You may not have murdered the man, but the child can hardly be blamed for seeing it that way. Well, if nothing else, we've learned they'll forgive you for pretty much anything. Hero this. Hero that. Is truly vomit-inducing. Some people could really do with making themselves more useful, don't you think? Uh, are you trying to make some kind of a point? Hey, look. Is that the knife the idiot monk threw away? This is yours, right? Well, why would you... I found it. I... Look, I killed Sila because she killed Olivia. What are you gonna do about it? I... Think about it, and when you figure it out, I'll be waiting. <sighs> See you around, kid. Are you trying to get yourself killed? No. But I want him to make a choice. If he really wants to try and take revenge, I'm not gonna stop him. But I'm here to stay, whether he likes it or not. Did you hear that, children? To make bread, we need flour. And to make... Is it true that you're Master Tree's teacher, Frey? I should call you Miss Frey then, shouldn't I? Will you teach us a new rhyme, Miss Frey? A fine idea, child. After all, my own hackneyed verses must be wearing thin by now. Uh, I guess I could teach you the one I used to say to help me remember all the states. Oh, yes. That sounds useful. All right, children. I think that's enough for today. Here you go, Master Treehee. It's the same thank you as always. Tanta Olas believed that by learning from the past, we could build a better future. Her most fervent wish was that all Athens be granted an education 
And though she may be forgotten, that desire is not. Indeed, it lives on in me. Though we can never know for certain, it is my belief that she died in order to protect us all. She could not bear to inflict further harm on me, her beloved people. Fanciful, perhaps, but a comfort, nevertheless. No harm in believing it if it makes you feel better, right? Hmm, I suppose so. Yet again, you teach me something of myself. You have my thanks, Ray. Right? Miss Frey, indeed. Someone's moving up in the world. And if the teacher of one's teacher is a teacher, that makes me one too. Taught you everything you know after all. Uh, since when? Gonna maybe hold off on letting you have that one for now. Once you've gotten used to this place, it feels kind of small. That, or you've grown too big for your boots already. Bray! What a coincidence meeting you here! Hey, have you noticed the square looking tighter lately? Actually, I have. You've been helping out? Yeah. I saw how much you were doing for the city. And I thought I'd better start doing my bit. Hey, since you're here, can I maybe show you around a little more? Oh, I, uh, I think I know the place pretty well by now. Thanks. I'll bet you don't know how to find all the people who want to thank you for everything you've done. And they'll all be very happy to see you. Do we really have to waste our time on this nonsense? Not sure you're right about them being happy, but... Yes. All right. Follow me. This area was a total mess, but things are really coming along now. We're a little low on raw materials, since we still can't go outside the city. But there's no shortage of people willing to help out. You know why? Why? Because I'm not the only one who was inspired by that speech you gave at the archives. You gave a speech? And I missed it? No, oh, that's just typical. Yeah, you can forget you ever heard that. Thanks. Maybe later. I'm kind of busy right now. All right, but that's a promise. And you have to play with us too, Pilar. Huh? Me? Fine. But I get to be Frey, okay? Let's head for the pasture next. There's something I want to show you. What is it? <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. He really has no idea how annoying he is, does he? So glad you guys are all okay. Stop that! You've already eaten! So greedy! You've been looking after him? Well, <laughs> there was nobody else to do it. But never mind that. Look. She's your favorite, isn't she? Yeah. You remembered. Oh, I remember everything about you, Frey. 
I told you, no more food. Ah, uh, how far our painfully unpopular little malcontent has come. You okay? I'm fine. We'll uh, visit the mausoleum next. Can I suggest that we do something else? Anything else? I was just thinking we should head there. Yep, okay, good. No, no one cares what I say. Fine. Yeah, fine. Great. Come on. Thank you so much for the flowers, Pilo, dear, and for all your help tidying up. Oh, it was nothing. Somebody had to do it, right? Anyway, don't mind me. Well, if it isn't Frey herself. Frey! Frey! Frey. Oh, thank you thank for everything. Thank you so much. Look, I, uh... Just accept it, all right? I want to thank you for all you've done. Ugh, fawning hangers-on. Disgusting. We owe you everything, Frey. Everything. Uh, you're welcome. All right. Where to next? Oh, um, excuse me. I, uh, I hate to bother you, but I, uh, well, I don't have enough food for my cat. You don't? Oh, I suppose she does have a few new mouths to feed. Pilo, dear, I was rather hoping to find some lovely flowers to leave at the mausoleum. There you are, Pilo. The bench down at the dump is broken. Wait, wait a moment. So, hang on. What do you all need again? You want some help? I... No, it's fine. This is what I'm here for. Sorry, Frey. I'm going to have to run. I'll make it up to you next time. All right? You think he'll be able to manage all of that? Food for a cat, some lovely flowers, and uh, fixing a bench, was it? I think he'll survive. Nah, we should give him a hand. You just can't help yourself, can you? I can't believe I missed out on today's rations. Wonder if we can find some cat owners with food to spare. I doubt the people of the lower city have very much of anything to spare. Okay, so we hit the upper city. Well, I'm not sure how much generosity we'll meet with there. We don't know if we don't try. Let's go. Not exactly peaceful here, is it? I'm used to it. Ah, oh, yes, you're from a filthy, noisy, awful place, too. Here? Hey, could I ask a favor? Well, if it isn't Frey herself, come to pet my little darling, have you? Not today. I was wondering if she might be able to spare some food for a friend. Guy I know has a cat who could really use some. Gosh, sounds like quite a pickle. Uh, one minute. Uh, there you go. Wow, this is tons. Thanks. Oh, not at all. I'm sure you'd do the same for me. Hmm, cat people are good people. Vacuous nonsense. Here, you need some cat food, right? Wow, that's loads. Thanks so much. Don't thank me. It was the guy in the upper city. Uh, the one who likes to sit out on the street with his cat. You know him? Of course. I'll have to go and say thank you. You do that. Just get back to your kittens first. Ooh, I almost forgot. All right, say thanks to Pilo too. So, what kind of flowers you need? Oh, I'm ever so sorry to have to bother you with this, Frey. 
But, well, it's been a struggle putting together a nice garland of anything lately. It would be wonderful if you could bring back anything you happen to find outside town. No problem. I'm on it. Oh, thanks ever so much, dear. These are the three sorts of flowers I'm looking for. Let me know if you manage to find any, won't you? Okay, can you try to keep the chat to a minimum while we're in Sepal? It's a little late to start worrying about people finding you strange, you know. Guess I better figure out how to force you to shut up. Here, huh? You're not entirely safe. Don't let your guard down. Anyone ever told you you're a broken record? I'm feeling lucky. Well, certainly good to see some enthusiasm. Don't let them outflank you. Not gonna happen. There it is. Huh? Ride. Can't you? Doesn't exactly get the blood pumping. Ah. Nearly there, right? Yes, very much. We're free of any immediate. I think that's all the flowers the lady asked for, right? Let's go give her the good news. Hey, I brought you some flowers. This is the kind of thing you had in mind? Oh, dear. Oh, you didn't have to go to all that trouble, honestly. Ah, it was nothing. Oh, now I can make a lovely garland to take up to the mausoleum. But mustn't forget to thank young Pilo, too, when I see him. He said he'd try and find some for me as well. <sighs> Frey! Frey! Hello! Hey, kid. Uh, you said some bench was broken? It is! Metal thingies that hold it together all snapped. Rusted away, huh? Guess we'll need to find some new ones. Aren't raw materials something of a rarity at the moment? They sure are. Thanks to a certain somebody. <clears throat> you might be able to find something suitable in Pranost, I suppose. Cool. 
Let's go see what we can rustle up. Journey's end. Wow, well, that was quick. I'm always tired. All's well then. Wonderful. Occurs. Uh huh. Wouldn't Fabrasia be a lovely name for this particular part of the world? Uh, no. Did you find something? Keep your wits about you. Very much in the room. Thanks. Where are we off to today? Not sure yet. No plan? Don't you think you would make one?
This place gives me the creeps. Yes. What is it about deserted houses? Whoa! Oh, that is not much obliged. Oh, finish the job! very satisfying facing enemies of this caliber. Yeah, it does feel kind of pointless. Oof. Gross. Our destination is close. I only want to hear from you when we're there. How about this? Close, but just not quite big enough. Dane, thought we had it there. This one looks promising, I think. I think that'll do it, yes. Nice. All right, back to Safal. Here, kid. This will work, right? Amazing! You're the best, Frey! Ah, <laughs> don't mention it. Is there somebody who could do the actual fixing for you? I'll get my dad to do it. Oh, what about Pilo, though? Don't worry. I'll tell them you're all good now. Thanks. See ya! Sorry I'm late, everyone. So, first of all, the bench. I found some nice, strong core to... Huh? Uh, sorry. I kinda... did everything for you. Wanted to help out, you know? Well, heroes will be heroes, I suppose. Sorry for running off like that. Oh, no problem. And, uh, they all said to say thanks to you. Oh, I'm just trying to make myself useful. Haven't managed to do much yet, though. Ah, uh, don't say that. You're... Uh, forgive me for interrupting. I, I don't suppose you'd be able to spare some of that cord you have there, would you? Our instruments have taken quite a battering, you see. And, well, all the spare string was used up in the restoration efforts, so... Of course. It's all yours. I don't need it now anyway. Oh, you're too kind, really. Now we'll be able to perform again at last. Amazing. Haven't managed to do much, huh? <laughs> Not bad. Think I can work with this? <clears throat> May I have this dance? Oh, of course. Watch and learn. Like this. And 
this. Just the right one. before getting that in a hurry. No need to blow smoke up my ass, but that was fun. You really do have remarkably questionable taste. Well, he's not a total asshole for a start. Well, if it isn't everybody's hero, an honor as always. Can I help you with something? Great idea. before getting that in a hurry. No need to blow smoke up my ass, but that was fun. Well, if it isn't everybody's hero, an honor, as always. Can I help you with something? Great idea. Watch and learn. This. And this. Just the right one. You're good at this. Very nice. And this. I expected no less of a hero. I'm not a fucking hero. And what's that got to do with dancing, anyway? Oh, 
All is well, Frey. You need not worry. My post here is a vital one, standing as I do in close proximity to both the square and the courtyard. You take your work pretty seriously, huh? But of course, it's no mere workaday job. It is my vocation and my greatest pride. Speaking of which, we guards agreed that you should be presented with this. Although I fear such formal trappings are not much to your liking. Yes, not exactly your style, is it? I don't know. I gotta say, it's a cute look on me. I would prefer that you did not make light of it. But I must say, it suits you well. Oi, Milia, what are you doing? Get back to your post! Right away. Well, until next time. Like a sermon. Where is it going? I have a strange feeling that cat wants us to follow it. Wait, it stopped. Aw, is this for me? Nice day, huh? When did you two become best friends? When you were too busy to notice, clearly. Olivia, ever since I met you, I... It's lonely without her, huh? Don't think I'll ever get over losing her. But it's nice to have someone to share that with. Hanging out here with you helped me realize that. Wait, the pen light. The trinket you gave the child? Yeah, I used to use it to play a game with Homer. Oh, normal services resumed, I see. <sighs> Shut up.
So this is where you were taking us. For me? Ah, oh, you shouldn't have. Anything take your fancy? Nothing tickling your fancy, eh? Well, show me the goods. Oh, all right. Another... Lady Frey, I found another knife for you. It is not the same one, but I hope it will make a suitable replacement. You wanted a knife, did you not? Please, you need not stand on ceremony. You are our hero, and what you want, you must have. You are going to throw that away, aren't you? No, I'm going to hang on to it. There's probably other kids like Elif around. Other orphans. Can't let myself forget that. Ever. You're not going to thank him, are you? <laughs> no. So, what exactly are you doing? Just shut it, all right? Shit, what the hell happened here? Whatever it was, it seems our friend's no longer here. Damn. The former councilman. He escaped. We heard something and came as fast as we could, but he was already gone. Gone? Gone where? Good question. He would have had to have left town, but...
Before you suggest it, there's no point looking for him. You're the last person he'll give himself up to. Do you think he was ever really loyal to my mom? Faith undermined by perceived abandonment, sadness turned to hate. His stated motives are certainly plausible. Yeah, I think I might even know how he feels. Uh, why are we here again? Please tell me you're joking. Huh? I sense something distinctly unpleasant. You think maybe we should try and go around? I'll leave that decision to you, but caution is strongly advised. of every battle. Might as well pocket this. So much to offer the dedicated explorer, don't you think? Sure. If you don't mind almost dying every place you go. What is life if not a series of brushes with death? Hmm? <sighs> we can easily get down from here. Yes. The question is, can we get back up? Uh, that part may not be so easy. Let's 
going to be a chore. Not the pep talk I needed. What's that sound? Is the break getting worse? Possibly. Watch where you go. Yeah, yeah. Look, water. Break's getting thicker. It certainly seems so. Careful. Oh, come on. When am I not careful? This should be easy enough. If only that were true of every battle.
on the door. She was greeted by the most miraculous sight. Somewhere to lie the fuck down. Feels nice. Yes, until an unexpected gust blows you off a cliff. I don't know. Could be kind of fun. Something extremely powerful is approaching. Let's try not to be here when it arrives. It may be too late for that. here why you worried about me just checking think we're close to something
almost feels like it's calling out to me. Getting stronger. Huh? What is? The break. What else? Keep your wits about you. 